hey everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today i will be showing you how to set up your email account on hosting a hosting um, so if you know i just bought this um, one or two weeks ago and um, i was trying some new features so because um, the panels hosting i use is different from the c panel that normally other shared hosting providers use so um, the tutorial is almost same but um, it's a slightly different and um, another reason i wanted to show you this is because um, uh, hosting a very aggressively tries to upsell you products and um, you may very easily get misled uh, into paying them extra so i will show you how it happens um, so to arrive at this screen first you have to just log in and um, go to this hosting tab so you will see all the connected domains to your hosting account okay so before i'm um, starting this i will show you how hosting uh, tries to upsell you um, if you go to the emails tab as um, you know if you want to set up email you see this option and you will click on it okay it is doing the confirmation um, okay i will have to log in again uh, worries okay so um, now um, again i will just um, go to the email tab directly this time okay and um, right now because i have set up a email account it is showing this and it is it expires okay and that's uh, let's um i will show you here click on this new email so you see um before signing up the email account uh, it was showing like this there was no option of uh, the existing email account um it would show you like this that um, business email and enterprises email but when you buy the hosting um what happens is i will show you so i will show you the plan um the wordpress hosting plan Um, okay so here you will see the options when you buy this it says that um, 100 email accounts are available with this plan and similarly 100 100 emails are available with all plans so um, but when you try to create an email from this uh, option it will show you to buy an um, business email account and enterprise email level account okay while this may have um, better feature maybe they are using providing a different ip but i don't see really any option here so you may get misled into paying them but um, obviously i when i purchased this hosting i checked what features they offer and based upon that i only purchased this hosting so basically this is how um, you know they are one of the cheapest um not i will not say the cheapest um but a good budget hosting and this is how they try to make money with very aggressively upsell you so now let's um, get back to the tutorial and i will show you how to set up an email account for free that um, that is included in your hosting plan so first you will go to the hosting tab and from here uh, select the domain for which you want to create email address for example i want to create email address for this domain bonjour.website and um, so scroll down and you will see this option of um, emails okay here it is emails just click on it and now if you click on this option it will actually show you the uh, correct option to set up your email account and um, you in just if you scroll below you will see the paid options but um, it's pretty useless uh, i mean for most users you won't really need it and um, so i will show you how to set this up i've already set up one account you can see um, hello at the website. and okay the feature i like is um, their web hosting panel is um, actually looks quite decent I uh, okay the, i have this tab open here and um, you can see it the web hosting uh, um, the web panel mail panel is quite um, decent compared to the c panels default um, at least i like this 
so now let's go back to the tutorial it's pretty simple um, you can see all the server details here so it's good that they have their own servers and uh, because they do not issue SSL certificate for subdomains so for normally cPanel um, holders um, account uh, hosting providers what they do is um, usually if they configure it properly then you won't have any problem but some hosting provider like GoDaddy which I would strictly advise to stay away from will misconfigure it and then you have a lot of issues with it so now let's um, I will show you here for example I want to set up like info at the rate bonshot website then I will just put here info a username and um, the password I will just generate one password from here and make sure you copy it in a safe place so I will just copy it temporarily in a notepad and then click on create okay so this account has been created and um, you can see the message count and you are allowed to send um, I have the basic plan and I think it is the limit is same with all to prevent spam um, so you can send um, in 24 hours 3000 messages and I have sent one um, actually I don't think I think I just received one so I mean that's also okay let's um, okay, um, okay um, so now what you have to do is um, just keep the password in a safe place now I will show you how to connect it to Gmail okay let's um, go back to your Gmail account and from here go to the settings click on the setting icon and here click on see all settings now click on account and imports okay from here you can see um, I have already connected one account it's hello at the dot website and um, what the first thing we will do is um, do this add an email account here okay so this way we will receive all the emails coming to our business email account so for this um, you can see you need the email address just type it here info at the rate um, module.website whatever your email address is and then click on next okay and um, it will just keep this uh, take default then click on again next and um, the username is you can see the username is um, complete email address so make sure you copy the uh, copy the whole address and not just info as by default Google puts it there then the password now um, this is why you should keep it saved in a safe place just paste it here and then the pop server okay for pop server scroll up and here you will see the pop3 access server so this is the pop server just copy and okay make sure you co you are copy pasting everything so there is no spelling mistake and if even if there is a small mistake it will not work so whatever is shown here and just copy and paste it here and the port is 995 so I'll just again paste it uh, just click on the drop down button menu and select the correct port then um, you can select this option I like to um, keep a copy of the retrieve message on the server and obviously take this always use a secure connection SSL and then you can custom label it if you want but that's optional and whatever you like and um, um, okay just then click on add account okay now it is showing your email account has been added and now click on next okay you, uh, you can see the option here yes I want to be able to send this one message as this um, email ID now you can here select the your name which you want your um, the re email receivers to see so you may want to set it different from your personal name for example like the, I will set um, a staff at staff also I will set it at team bonjour 
whatever you want to set okay and then keep the strict uh, ticked treat as an alias and then click on next and here now we need to copy the SMTP server details just copy and paste it here again carefully um, okay paste it here and uh, we need to in, in username we need to use the full email id not just the info part so make sure you copy and paste it here properly and now we need the password okay let's copy and paste it here again and select the correct port the correct port you can see here for smtp server is 587 okay it is um, selected by default the correct port if it is not you can select the correct port then um, keep use this over the TS, uh, TLS as that is more sick, better than the SSL so then simply click on add account then you will um, it will Google Gmail will send you a verification code at your um, at this email address info at the red bond website but if you remember in the first step we have already set to receive all the emails sent to this address to our Gmail account so we can simply go to our Gmail account inbox and let's um, refresh it okay um, there is no email okay huh. okay so here it is the confirmation email here you can see the label we selected so you can easily identify which um, uh, from which email address it is forwarded and then just click you can either on the verification link click on it or copy simply copy the confirmation code so I will do that and copy and paste it here and then click on verify okay so our email address has been added and another se important setting is let's go back to the settings again simply go to setting icon select see all settings then accounts and imports and um, why if um, I have already because used other email address so the, I have make sure that this correct option is ticked reply from the same address to which the message was sent so um, uh, or what if you select uh, by default it is um, set to this always reply from default address so change if it is selected this uh, you have to change it to this option so that uh, you're sending it from the same address that it was sent to not from your personal email address so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, it was easy to follow um, to confirm that the email account has been added you can see this um, e info at the rate bonchor website has been added and you can see the name team bonchor i selected and um, it is saying that it is using this connection of secure and if you want to i will show you if you try to compose email now um, you will see here the default email address and just click on this drop down menu and you will see all the other um, different email address connected to your setting um, gmail account so to use this email we just added this email just select this and you can send it to anyone for example i will send it to my um different em hello entering bonjour.website i created this email um address before creating this video so now let's uh, just make the subject high test okay, then send it okay it seems there is um, there is an issue with my internet connection um, what a time to have uh, internet issue but anyways this is how the tutorial works and i have 
since I have cleared the most important parts and it will work. I have already tested and confirmed it before making this tutorial and showing this to you. So I hope you um, just follow the steps and you will be able to configure your email account and connect it to your Gmail so you can easily send and receive emails from your single inbox. And um, if you have any other doubts or questions, please post in the comments. And um, if you like the tutorial, please leave your feedback and consider subscribing to my channel. So I will see you in the next video.